today's video, I'm going to be building a Bloxburg house with no bills. So a regular Bloxburg house, except you don't have to pay bills. You can live there for free. And as you can see, my house bills literally just went off. You haven't paid your bills. Because of this, your electricity and water has been shut off. So we now officially have no bills. Okay, so as you can see, we've got a little like landscape moment going on. So this is where we're going to have our house. But let's get into it. So for the house, I think we're going to do a little cabin in the woods moment. I feel like that could potentially be really cool. It's not going to be like a super big house. Like it's just going to have like your basic amenities. We can also have a little porch out here. And I reckon for the color, because we are going for like a cabin in the wood, we're going to go with logs and like a nice dark linen like that. Ew, so scrumly. What is scrumly? I swear, I'll just be making up the most random words when filming a video. I don't know if it was just me who done this, but when I first started playing Bloxburg, I thought to make your bills lower, you actually had to like, like turn off all your lights. So I'm not even kidding. I had like a big mansion, right? I'm like, oh, my bills are so expensive. I'm like, oh wait, I can just turn off all of my lights and my TVs and everything. And I thought that would help. And keep in mind, I didn't know what a power box was. So I literally went in every single room and individually turned off the lights. I was insane. And for the roof, we're just going to stick with a gable roof. We love a good little gable roof moment. Uh, I reckon something like that. Pretty scrum yum. Pretty scrum yum. Now we also need a chimney because there's no bills. We're obviously going to be using a fireplace as our source of heat. Why does it kind of look like a frog? Am I the only one seeing that? Also, you know what? I know this is like super weird. But what if we have like a grass roof? I know, weird. Hear me out, okay? I feel like it could like maybe look cool. I don't know. You know what? I kind of like it. Like it's one with nature, you know? I'm actually terrified of cabins in the woods. I swear like every horror movie is located in a cabin in like the middle of Whoop Whoop. Okay, now I really want to have lanterns up the top here, but I don't know if I can use lanterns. Actually, I'm pretty sure I'll be able to know. If I place down a light, as you can see, it turns off because that requires me paying the bills, so we can't use that. Okay, that actually comes in handy. So maybe if we use a lantern, let's see if this works. Okay, we can use lanterns. That is good. Okay, the reason I want to do this is because I want to have a little lantern up here. Oh, wow. I can't use lanterns. Are you kidding me? I was so excited. Wow, that's kind of rude. What about this? Well, it's a candle. I can use this. Well, in that case, we're going to have two little candles out here to kind of lighten up the place because it's all fun and games until this turns nighttime and then it starts to get spooky. I don't think I've used this much wood in my life like ever. <laughs> okay now as for the windows I think I'm gonna do this like custom. Like I want a little window here at the front however I don't like how it's boring so we're going to go into structurals and use thin square beams to kind of like outline the window. So we go boop and then we go beep and there you go you got a cute little minecraft window and then we can just copy that and place them all along here. Something like this. Also we need to make sure there's lots of windows in here because there's not gonna be like many lights. All the lights we're gonna be using is gonna be made out of candles. Okay this is gonna be the balcony so we can have a door there and we can place some really cute like traditional windows next to the door. Now low key why is this house looking so cute? Now the one thing we need out here is obviously a garden because as you know we do not have bills which means we are going to have to produce our own food. I'm pretty sure we can't use a stove either. What's something like we can eat? Berry bush. Okay yeah we can have some berries out here. We can eat berries. Actually you know what? I might just build a little greenhouse next to this so that way we can have our cabin in the woods and then we can have our greenhouse. The greenhouse is only going to be like three by four. It's going to be very small and for the roof we're going to make this out of a pyramid glass roof because obviously it is a greenhouse. As you can see, the roof is kind of boring. So we're going to add a little bit more structure to the roof because right now it's not giving what it needs to give. I've always wanted to own a greenhouse in real life. I love gardening. I think it's so fun. I own a bonsai. It's like 14 years old and I love it. And we're going to make sure these windows cover like the entire thing. You know what? Now that I think of it, I wish Bloxburg added chickens. I know everyone's like, no, I don't want Bloxburg to add animals or turn into adopt me. But like chickens, look at me in the eye and say, Alaska, I don't want Bloxburg to add chickens to the game. You're lying. Like, imagine owning a pet chicken in Bloxburg. That would be so cute. Like, you can collect its little eggs. Now, what we're going to be placing in this greenhouse is obviously our food essentials. So, we need a few planter boxes. And inside of these, we can have our carrots. What else do we eat? Do we eat mushrooms? We can have some mushrooms. Tulips? No, we can't eat tulips. Oh, we've got some strawberry bushes. Yes. And we've also got a tomato plant. We're also going to place a heavy juju shelf here. Okay, the reason we're putting a shelf here is so we can put all our garden stuff. Stuff. We can have our hose, our little apple can, some seed packages for our seeds. Can we actually use garden soil in Bloxburg? I don't know. It'd be cool if you could. And just things you need for a garden. So for example, we can have all our tools at the bottom shelf. On this wall, we can have our garden clippers. The good thing about building a cabin in the woods in Bloxburg, I've never used any of this stuff before. Like this is the first time I'm using this stuff. So it's pretty cool. Oh, we also have hoses. Actually, one thing we need out here is like a shovel so we can bury our enemies. I meant what? I 
didn't say anything. What is this? Insect hotel? Ugh, I hate insects, man. I can't stand them. But we'll add it anyway because this greenhouse is inclusive to all little insects. Oh, guys, look, it's me. It's a little noob. I'm pretty sure Bloxburg also added a beehive where we can actually produce honey. They did. They added a beehive house where there's bees. I'm going to place this on the side of the greenhouse like this. We're just going to have a bunch more like carrots, some more tomatoes. Because I'm pretty sure this is like all the stuff you can actually eat in the game. Also, to make this greenhouse like in with nature, we can have a few of these overgrown wall vines. And you know what? Now that I think of it, I might add a few on this house as well to really give it that whole cabin in the woods aesthetic. Oh, and lastly, we need lighting. I'm pretty sure we can use these garden lamps because they don't produce electricity. Aha, I was right. So if we turn this to nighttime, then we can kind of get like a little idea of what it's going to look like. So we'll place a few of these garden lamps around the greenhouse to kind of lighten up a little bit. Because another thing we can add with no bills is candles. Salem! He's drinking my water. I'm actually going to record this. You guys think I'm lying? I'm not lying. He literally drinks my water every single time. I'm so sad. These wall lamps would look so cute here. But because they produce electricity, we can't add them. Okay, so I think that is our greenhouse all finished. I also want to add like a front yard to this place. So I want that to be like a footpath that leads to the greenhouse to my actual house. And we can also do a little driveway along this section. I feel like we need a rocking chair at the front. I feel like every cabinet in the woods has a rocking chair with a little wood stump right there. Like, tell me that isn't the cutest thing ever. Now, as you know, we can't actually have vehicles. I think instead, our way of transportation is going to be through a bike. We're making this hot pink. I on a hot pink bike. Don't judge me. Now it's finally time to decorate the inside. Again, we're going to keep this very similar to the outside. So we're going to be making this out of logs. Now, first things first, we have to figure out this floor plan because the house is like very small. So I think we might put the bathroom here and then our bedroom can go here and kitchen here and living room here. It is very, very small, but guess what? We're going to make it work. Like I said a million times, I love small houses. So this is going to be kind of fun. Okay. Now for the complicated bit, which is actually producing light. So this little section here is going to be like the entry area. Okay. So candle here instead of a light because obviously we can't use overhead lighting. Actually, is there like a candle chandelier? Oh wait, there's this antique chandelier which is made out of candles. Can we use this? Oh, we can't. Damn, I thought I was being smart there. It's fine. We're just going to have to use <laughs> lots of candles. At least this house is going to smell nice. Oh, we also need that really cute like flower welcome mat. That is adorable. And then along this wall, we can have our coats. Why do those kind of look like little ghosts? I feel like at nighttime, they would like really scare me. Do you guys ever have like a huge pile of clothes in your room and then like at nighttime, it looks like a person? I feel like that's what it's going to look like at night. <laughs> So for the curtains, I think we might use like a mixture between clear curtains and these curved curtains. Like look how cute this is. I'll put clear curtains like this and then I put curved curtains on top and boom, we've got curtains and maybe a few plants because this is a cabin in the woods. So I want to incorporate lots of greenery, make it in touch with nature. I was going to put car keys on this bedside table, but I realized we don't even own a car. Okay, so I'd say the entry area is done. As for the living room, I have a few ideas for what I want to do for the living room. First thing I need to do is obviously add a fireplace. I want to do something really really similar to this photo. So we're going to place the TV right here. Did I just call a fireplace a TV? I am losing my mind. And typically I would put a TV on top of the fireplace, but we can't use TVs because we don't have electricity. So I guess instead of a TV, we can just have a few books. Because I feel like if you're living in a cabin in the woods, you're not going to have anything better to do than to like read. And we also need like a really big fluffy carpet in the middle. Make it nice and cozy. Oh my God, Boxburg has a firewood rack. Wait, that is so cool. We're definitely putting that like next to the fireplace right here. Oh, they've got fireworks. Should we put a firework like in the middle of the living room because that's safe, <laughs> you know? Okay, now for the chairs. Oh, we have to use these log sofas. That is just screaming cabin in the woods. Although it's not like a really big living room. So I think we'll only fit one sofa there and then we can fit an armchair in this corner. One thing we are changing though is these pillows. They kind of just look like Tic Tacs. Okay, so I've got our lounges. As for our dining table, I'm making this out of a basic shape. Okay, don't judge me. Okay, so what I'm doing, two vertical cylinders like this, a cube in the middle, resize the cube, lift the cube up, up, turn it into wood, outline it with some structural beams, semi-transparent cube on top, and boom, we've got our coffee table. As you can see, it's still pretty dark in here, so I'm going to use these candles to kind of lighten up the place. The only problem with this house is that it may potentially catch on fire, but besides that, it's great. Oh my god, and in this section, we can have like a weird shrine of me, just like a massive portrait of uh, yours truly. Actually, you know what would look cute on this coffee table? Some flowers with some overly expensive designer books. And there we go, we've got our living room. So back here is going to be the kitchen and the dining room. So I think we're going to place the dining room in this corner where my weird shrine is. 
things. As for the table, I think we're just gonna use this like transitional round table and now we just have to set it. Actually, because we can't like technically cook food with no bills, like I don't think we can use like an oven or anything. So I think maybe instead of an oven, we can just have like a pizza box on the table. Boom, there's our pizza box. Now for the chairs, we could use log chairs because they would match with the chairs in the living room, but I feel like that's too much. Like if all the furniture in the house is matching, it'll look a little bit questionable. Okay, so there's our really cute dining table. Now we've got the kitchen. So the reason the kitchen is so small is obviously because we can't use 90% of the stuff. Actually, can we use a microwave? I'm not sure. Wait, no, obviously we can't use a microwave. You know what we can use though? The ice cream machine, I think. I actually don't know. Also, I'm pretty sure we can't use a sink either. What even can I add in here? Oh, we can place some apples. Oh, there's also this food canning station. Oh, that comes in handy. Another thing we can eat is also like the fruit and these lemons. Oh, we can also place some carrots inside of the apples. Now we just have to fix up the lighting. So more candles. This is definitely like one of the most dangerous houses in Bloxburg. Like, did y'all see how Bloxy Burgers burnt down? That's gonna be this house in a minute. One last thing I'm gonna add to my kitchen is a little bit more storage up here. Actually, we can also have a coffee maker. In Bloxburg, you don't actually need to pay your bills to use like a kettle and the coffee machine. So you know what? That comes in handy. Okay, and just like that, our kitchen is complete. Okay, and the next room we have is obviously the bathroom. The tricky thing is with the bathroom, I don't know if you can actually use showers and baths without electricity. Let's have a look, shall we? Can we use a shower without paying our bills? Use. Oh, we can't. Okay. I don't know how on earth we're going to wash ourselves then. What am I even going to put in the bathroom if we can't use anything? Actually, can we even use sinks? I feel like I'm lying to myself. Okay, let's test sink. Okay, I haven't paid my bills, so this should work. You haven't paid your bills in time. Okay. Can't even use the sink. That is disgusting. Yay, I love having no bills. Okay, you know what? You know what's going to be our bathroom, guys? I'll tell you what. We're just going to place a massive pool out here, like so. Obviously, make it a little bit more natural. Place a few waterfalls up here. Maybe a few lily pads as well. And then some lanterns around the pool. And I mean, there you go. That is our that is our bath. That is our shower. That is our sink. Who needs bills? Not me. Okay, you know what then? The one thing we can add in this bathroom is a toilet. I don't even think I'm able to use the toilet. Hold on. If I can't use the toilet without bills, are you kidding me? I can't even sit on the toilet. Fine, who even needs a toilet? Who needs a toilet when you have the backyard? I guess we can make this like the laundry room. Actually, you know what? We'll just have a toilet here. Yes, we can't use it, but it's still gonna be there. We'll just pretend, okay? Pretend we're going to the toilet. Anyway, what I'm going to do is turn this, well, what was meant to be a bathroom, I'm gonna turn it into a laundry room instead. And we can just fill this up with like clothes and like laundry. And I guess another thing we can add in here is some soap, because you cannot tell me I can't use soap. And you know what? We're putting a sink in here. I don't care. Can we use sinks? No. Am I adding it? Yes. Because like we need our toothbrush, like we need our hairbrush. Like you can't tell me I'm not adding a toothbrush because that is disgusting. I also feel like we need more paintings in here. I feel like we're lacking in the painting department. Okay, and then lastly, some candles. Why is like the normal candle light so bright and in your face? Okay, so the bathroom is done. So last but not least, we have the bedroom. So I want to go with something like this, make it nice and cozy. And I'm pretty sure they have log beds. Haha, <laughs> they do. Okay, it's just a matter of like where I'm going to place it. I think the best option is placing it here. So then that way I'm able to fit a little coffee table at the end of my bed. Also, I really want to make this out of plaid. I don't know why. Also because I've like never used it and I want to try new things. So yeah. Okay, we're going to make these pillows huge, by the way. Like I want them to take up the majority of the bed. Not only are we going to place one blanket, we will be placing two blankets. There we go. We've got our nice comfy bed. You know what? I thought of something cute. You know how I usually do like my Alaska Violet initials above my bed out of lights? Well, this time we're going to be making them out of wood. Switching it up a little bit. <laughs> oh my God. Oh, wait, I kind of love it. I also want to make sure my bedroom has lots of books in it. So we'll just place a few on these shelves here. Oh, I would take the fattest naps there. Now across from this bed, of course we need our fireplace. I think we might use this like stone fireplace. Actually, can we place shelves on the top of the fireplace? Oh, <gasps> we can? Oh my gosh, that is so cool. In that case, I'm adding like a bunch of them on the fireplace. So then on top of this, we can have our candles, some plants and like a random deer. We also need room for the dresser. So I think I'm going to place the dresser like up along this wall. I also want like a nice cozy carpet with some slippers, some little slippers at the end of the bed. Oh my god, there's a slip and slide. Wait, can we use this or does that require bills? Oh, wow. Okay. It requires bills. Never mind. And of course, some curtains for our privacy. You know what annoys me in horror movies? They never close their blinds. It's like, what are you doing? Close your blinds. Okay, so I think that is it for my bedroom. We also have a balcony out here that I'm not gonna lie, kind of forgot about, but we'll quickly add that here. We're also gonna have like a farm fence around it. And then out here, I want a little fireplace. So then you and your friends can just chill out here by the fire, cook some marshmallows, and just have a jolly good time. Now, one last thing I want to add to this no bills house is like a swing set somewhere. I guess we can place it over here. Okay, our no bills house 
cost comes to a total of $141,000. And as you can see, I have not paid the bills. So this is how the outside look like. As you can see, we have a little birdie right there. He's loving it. This actually turned out so much better than I expected. And here is the greenhouse to the left. And of course, our hot pink bike because um, who even drives cars nowadays? You just, you just have to drive a bike. So firstly, we have our greenhouse. And this is where we get all our food. So we've got our strawberries, our tomatoes, and then our carrots. And what I do is place these all on the table. And then when I'm ready to take them in, I just put them on this tray. I then take these inside and make myself a nice little vegetarian meal. So once we've harvested all our food, we can take this in here and then use this little machine to cook up a nice... Never mind. We cannot... Wow. Okay. Apparently I can't even use that. So you know what? If we want to eat, we just have to eat it raw. For example, this tomato. If we want to eat, we just have to eat a raw tomato. So yeah, this is our kitchen. Pretty basic because I mean, we can't really use anything. And then here is the dining table. Why did I not change that decal? Let's see if anything comes up when I type up Alaska Violet. Oh my god, it does. <laughs> what? Why is it when I type Alaska Violet in decals, there's photos of me on the toilet? You know what? I'm using it. So yeah, this is our toilet. I mean, our... <laughs> oh, what have you guys done to me? So yeah, this is my dining table where we can eat pizza because it's kind of the only thing we can eat with no bills. It's not like we can cook up a steak. This is kind of disgusting. Why am I eating a pizza while looking at myself on the toilet? And then over here, we've got the living room. I love this living room. I think it's so nice and cozy. And then over here, we've got the bathroom. As you can see, it's like super basic because I mean, with no bills, we can't use a shower, a bath, and we can't even use the sink. So yeah, really fun. We have a toilet here, even though um we cannot use it. Okay, well, we can sit on the toilet. What about the sink? Can we like brush our teeth? Nope. Wash our face? Nope. And then this is kind of like where all our laundry is stored. What I love about the bathroom is the view. I mean, look at this. And also, if you're feeling a little bit stinky, well, luckily for you, you can come out here and this is our shower, our bath, our sink. We just jump on in here and there you go. We feel nice and refreshed. And also, if you need to go to the toilet, um, we've got some grass here. And then lastly, we have the bedroom over here. You know what? This bedroom is so cozy. I love the little AV above my bed. I think it's pretty cute. Another thing about this room is like the views. We have a full balcony out here, which I love. We're surrounded by all this greenery. The only thing I do not like about this though is when I change it to a nighttime. I don't know why. It just looks so spooky and I hate it. It's just, ugh. In the backyard, look how, look how terrifying everything looks. Like if I'm sitting right here, I feel like something's gonna creep up behind me. I do not like it. So let's go back inside. But you know what? Besides that, I think it turned out pretty cute. So yeah, that was me building a Bloxburg house, except I can't use any bills. I think this is really fun. If you want me to do another house like this, or like a different style, definitely let me know. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.